In a June presentation to the Dean Bible Ministries, Men's Prayer Breakfast, Raphael Cruz said a few interesting things. Now, <laughs> Raphael Cruz is, has been uh, known to say some very interesting things, very controversial things, very inflammatory things, and I just wanted to mention a couple of the things that he did say. Now, video has came out recently about him saying that we should we want to send Obama back to Chicago. We want to send him back to Kenya. Can you believe it? I know, bad joke, bad joke. But that's the kind of stuff that you're you're hearing from. Obviously, he's going for the whole birther thing. He was talking to a Tea Party crowd. You know, he throws that red meat out there, and it's incredibly effective, and it's incredibly popular. But some more things that he says, of course, is that, well, America, America is a Christian nation. It's a Christian nation, and the United States of America was formed to honor the word of God. Honor the word of God. Yeah, amazing, right? So all this stuff is pretty standard Tea Party fare. And uh, so you can see that he's had a quite a history of saying some crazy, crazy shit. Now, in the presentation to the Dean Bible Ministries Prayer Breakfast, he actually goes on about a little bit about gay rights and communism. Communism and socialism. Now, God, they love to throw those words around, don't they? Communi everything is communist. Everything is socialist. And, of course, Ted Cruz does the same thing. He loves to throw that word around, both of those words around. Now, he said, quote, you know, communism or socialism, whatever you want to call it, what is happening in this country, it's not different than what happened in Cuba. What the fuck is this guy talking about? It's not about government control. Of, it's, it is about government control of your lives. you got to realize how Marxist, how socialism works. When you hear all these things about homosexual marriage, this has nothing to do with homosexual rights. Did you know that? Dude, this guy's crazy. This is this is insanity. Oh no, gay rights doesn't have anything to do with gay rights. Really, Pastor Cruz, what what does it have to do with? He says, quote, the whole objective is the destruction of traditional family. It has nothing to do with homosexuals. They could care less about homosexuals. They want to destroy the family. Oh, is that what it's about? It's about destroying the family. Now, wait a minute here. Homosexuals also have families. Hmm. He said, quote, I've met so many Christians that tell me evolution is a scientific fact. Baloney, he exclaimed. I am a scientist. There is nothing scientific about ex evolution. But you know something? Karl Marx said it. I can use the teachings of Darwin to promote communism. Oh, my God. Dude, this guy, this, first of all, I don't think he understands that communism and socialism are actually pretty different. They're different systems, okay? And Marxism, I mean, he's just throwing out these words. And, look, if you ask somebody what socialism is, the, a Tea Partier, they don't know. They think that Obamacare is socialism. Really, it's not. Obamacare is a market-based, capitalist-based system of private insurance. But getting off that point, Pastor, Pastor Cruz continues. Communism, or call it socialism if you think communism is too hard a word, just throwing out those words, just throwing them out, necessitates for government to be your god. And for government to be our God, they need to destroy the concept of God. What the fuck is he talking about? They want government to be your... Nobody wants government to be... No. No. This is so stupid. Come on. Government. They want government to be your God. Who buys this bullshit? I don't even think he buys this bullshit. But somebody is. I mean, these Tea Party crowds are just eating it up. Like, oh yeah, communism, socialism, it's all, it's all socialism. 
Except when you think about it, that most of the Tea Party, older, okay, older Americans that are on Medicare, which is a socialist system, that's a, the best example of socialism, and social security. It even has a, it even has the word social in it. The irony is lost upon them. They don't get it. That these programs that they love, and for good reason, they're successful programs. They're good programs. But they're, they don't realize that this is socialism. That that's a, the best example of socialism. And it works. Medicare works. Social Security works. But no, it, it, it's communism. It's evil. Going back to how marriage equality and – or I'm sorry, communism and evolution apparently go hand in hand according to Pastor Cruz. He says, quote, evolution is one of the strongest tools of Marxism because if they can convince you that you came from a monkey, it's much easier to convince you that God does not exist. Once again, this guy is full of shit, full of absolute undiluted bullshit. I mean, just, just listen to this crap. It's insanity. And he doesn't even like pass he doesn't even understand communism. He doesn't under, understand what socialism is. And apparently he also doesn't understand what science is. Because we didn't come from monkeys. And there's that, you know, there's that there's that old argument. Oh well, well if we came from monkeys, then why are monkeys still here? Checkmate atheists. Because we didn't come from monkeys. Apes and humans had a common ancestor like 10 million years ago. I know. They, they. I just read a report recently where they said that they found jaw bones and teeth. And they dated it to a common ancestor way, way back in Africa, okay, of an ape-like ancestor. Then the lines – think of it as a tree. Okay, where this common ancestors at the trunk, right? Humans split off as like a branch, and then apes split off on the other branch, or hominids, I should say, not humans, but hominids. But th this just this kind of crap shows that they don't understand science, or they or they willingly leave this stuff out in order to say these. Very, very simple talking points to very, very simple people. Okay? This is about as, as simplistic as you can get. Rafael Cruz, he's kind of a dangerous guy, if you think about it. Because he's out there. He, he was out there, and he helped get his son elected. Now, another thing is that he believes... That his son, and he, and he told his son growing up that he was the anointed one. That he would go out, out there to do, oddly enough, wealth redistribution. Yes. Wealth redistribution from the wicked to the blessed, to God's children, right? Which ironically is a form of socialism, or communism. It's just it's so full of irony. And they're they're using this oh and of course one thing that I forgot to mention is that those people who are the wicked they're all probably at least in the in the tea party's minds minorities, poor people, blacks, latinos, immigrants, which ironically once again Ted Cruz born in Canada to an American mother, yes, I understand that. I'm not going all birther on you guys, but I'm just saying he was born in Canada and his father was an immigrant. There's so much irony in this. Now, for those conservatives who want to say, well, yeah, but look at look at Jeremiah, look at Obama and Jeremiah Wright. Okay, they want to draw that comparison. Since we draw the comparison of, well, look at Ted Cruz. And Rafael Cruz. Rafael Cruz says so many crazy things, right? And the campaign for Ted Cruz kind of 
distances themselves and say, well, no, you, you, took, you took us out of context. You know, you had to you had to look into the context. Well, it's kind of funny. I mean, look, a lot of these politicians will say that. Oh, you took me out of context when I said that incredibly hateful, stupid thing. So that's the common defense they like to use. Well, for those conservatives that like to make to draw a parallel between, you know, uh, Jeremiah Wright and President Obama, you have to remember. Jeremiah Wright wasn't stumping for Obama either. Where Rafael Cruz is a surrogate for Ted Cruz. Helped him get elected. Filled his head full of this crazy religious nonsense that he is the anointed one. And another thing about Rafael Cruz that makes him dangerous is that he's part of the Christian Dominionists. They literally want to take over the United States government and create a theocracy. That is the most anti-American thing that you could do. Once again, America is not based on religion. We are a secular nation. And that's why Ted Cruz and Rafael Cruz have to go and attack that notion and say, no, 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 no. America, Christian nation. We're a Christian nation. No, really. No, we're not. We're not a Christian nation. But you have to say that and get people to buy it so that you can live out your dominionist Christian fantasy of taking over the United States. It's crazy. And there are so many, there are people that are buying it. And you've got to watch this Pastor Cruz. He is a dangerous guy. And so is his son, Ted. You've you got to watch who you get elected. You know? Because if you don't go out and vote, in a lot of these races that are on off your races, you get 8 to 10% of the vote uh, of the populace out there voting. And because you see such low numbers, it's only the people that are hardline that go to the polls. So if you get these hardliner people, you're going to get hardliner politicians. That's how you get people like Ted Cruz. That's how you get people like Richard Murdoch. That's how you get people like Todd Akin. That's how you get these crazy people. Because only a very small a, power, a very small part of the electorate actually goes out and votes. So that's why it's important to watch your local politics. Don't just do the national thing and think you did enough. If you really want to make a difference, go to your local elections. Or else you're going to end up with Ted Cruz. And then it's going to be your fault. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. If you want to see more, go to our channel at youtube.com slash tytnation. And if you really want to support the show, support this channel, go to our fundraising campaign at www.patreon.com slash tytnation. The website is in the description below. Thank you guys and keep watching.